Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily. My name is Jax. I post a daily Raiders video, so hit that sub button if it interests you. So I'm sure you guys have heard, but Nate Hobbs has been putting on an absolute clinic. PFF dropped an article where they were talking about every team's best and worst players thus far in training camp, and by no surprise, Nate Hobbs was that dude for the Raiders. So a couple of days ago he jumped on a Jared I actually have a little excerpt here nate hobbs jumped on a jared stidham pass intended for Devonte adams who apparently he's been going head to head with Devonte adams which is the upper echelon of praise possible so he picked it off and danced his way into the end zone during an 11 11 drill to cap off what was the highlight of raiders practice on tuesday the play was indicative of the fact that although the secondary is shorthanded a bunch of players are out in general but specifically with the secondary you have Trayvon Mullen Jr. on the PUP list, Rocky Sin and Anthony Averett were all due to injury. So Nate Hobbs has really been putting on a clinic. And to be quite honest with you, I don't really think this is all that crazy. I mean, Nate Hobbs last season might have been the most underrated cornerback in the entire league. Although I would say 100% in the AFC West, Nate Hobbs, one of the more underrated secondary players that was possible. I mean, this guy... You know, he played in most of the games. I believe he only missed one game, 16 games, nine starts, only nine starts, like 75 tackles. I know he forced a fumble. Like he was doing a little bit of everything. He was getting to the quarterback. Nate Hobbs is extremely versatile. And that is the main thing with Patrick Graham and the Raiders specifically in the secondary, because if you didn't know, like Patrick Graham likes having a bunch of versatility, especially at that cornerback position, like He'll, he'll throw five cornerbacks out there. He'll throw, he'll just have cornerbacks all over the place. On the line of scrimmage, back in coverage, like the cornerbacks galore. So that's why in the offseason, a lot of Raiders fans were really pressing, like, you know, how are we looking at cornerback? Are we going to be good? All right, you know, how's Amik looking? How's Nate Hobbs looking? Do we feel comfortable moving into this upcoming season? Because, you know, although the Raiders do have a good plethora of solid quality starters at the cornerback position patrick graham really utilizes cornerbacks so this is great news nate hobbs in my opinion is poised for a breakout season and i'm a little bit biased this flag you know this, this is the chicago flag nate hobbs went to u of i which i mean you know I've, i love that school i love visiting there a bunch of my buddies went there and so i definitely am familiar uh, with nate hobbs and just how honestly just how much potential that there really is with him so it's not just him you know guys like Amik Robertson have been getting a lot of praise but this to me has been great news we've just been hearing honestly a bunch of great stuff as far as the defense is considered is except for like the line of scrimmage at the defensive tackle position that's for another day but a bunch of guys are injured a bunch of guys banged up at that DT spot but like for example Max Crosby apparently has just been quote-unquote unblockable like apparently you just cannot block max crosby right now and i mean he had one hell of a season last year he really bet on himself he spoke it into existence so we're aware at you know not only how talented the raiders are at both edges with new addition chandler jones but max crosby is already on his ascension to becoming a superstar at his position and in this league so it's been great hearing that he looks every bit like the elite rusher that he was last season and to be quite honest with you guys i like it because it makes like it puts more pressure on that offensive line like if you have to go in practice every single day and guard max crosby is that ideal no max crosby has apparently been where do we have here he's been lined up mostly as a defensive end but he's also taken some snaps at the outside linebacker position like so he's moving around out there I just love that that's who you get to go up against in practice. It's just almost like Nate Hobbs with Devontae Adams. Like you get to go up against the best wide receiver in the NFL. Not everybody is built for that. Not, not everyone looks forward to that. And I'm so glad the Raiders have players who are eager and love moments like that. Because that's why you play the game of football. That's why you do what you do. But you'd be surprised, man. There are some people in the league who definitely shy away from that moment. So great news. Raiders, main thing for me, still prioritize health. And that's really it, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for daily Raiders content. Drop some comments down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.